The cookery notch. Maybe we do know what it is. The cookery notch. I have made several, many even, videos about cookeries in the past. Um, and I have made a video which is still getting comments and still getting views, uh, which is great, um, on the fact that we don't know what the cookery notch down here, which you find on pretty much all cookeries, that we don't know what that notch is there for. Well, maybe we do. So, um, in the comments underneath uh, my videos, many people who said it's for uh, to, to make your finger bleed because you're not supposed to draw a cookery without shedding blood. This, we've established, is rubbish. I own about between 20 and 30 antique cookeries, real cookeries, ranging in date from the 19th century, in fact possibly even the late 18th century, one of them, uh, right the way through to the World War I kind of period. I tend not to buy many beyond that date. Um, and it's quite simply they're not sharp here. If you want to cut your finger, use the sharp bit of the blade, not the blunt bit of the blade. Duh. Okay, so it's not for that. Um, and that is the one thing that many people, even uh, Indian and Nepalese people who say, oh, well, we all know what that's for. It's for No, it's not. It, that makes no sense whatsoever. If you're going to cut your finger, it's up here. The other, thing, the other comment, which again, even from people from the region, uh, comes up, go, it's to stop blood running down onto the grip and making the grip slippery. This is rubbish on so many levels. Why don't all other knives and swords require something to stop the blood running down onto the hand? That's just rubbish, number one. Number two, if there's blood all over your blade, it's going to run down the entire blade, including the sides. It's not just going to run neatly down the edge and then miraculously fly off because of that notch. Uh, it's not going to happen, so it's not for either of those reasons, despite the fact that those reasons come up time and time again as people who think that they know what they're talking about. I'm sorry, but you don't know what you're talking about. Those are n completely implausible reasons. But there is one reason which I have slowly started to become convinced by, and indeed um, I've done a little bit of research to try and verify this, and I haven't been able to verify it, so to a certain extent the, qu the question is still an open one. What is that notch on cookeries? for exactly, it's not for opening bottle tops, um, what is that for, why is it there, what does it mean? And unfortunately, what I believe to be the most likely explanation is ritual significance. Now anybody who's studied archaeology will probably snigger at this point, because quite simply, in archaeology when you don't know what something's for, you say it must have ritual significance, but in this case, I think that's probably the actual likely reason, and it's almost certainly related to Shiva um, and the god goddess Shiva um, has the symbol of a trident essentially um, and uh, uh, one person in fact commented I think it was today or yesterday on the fact that um, it's the uh, character Om I don't know how to pronounce or Om I don't know how to pronounce it um, but by and large if you look at the symbol symbology associated with Shiva um, you do get a trident symbol and indeed this does look like a sort of a trident symbol. Um, there's also something about a cow's hoof as well. There's a story where um, Shiva trans um, transformed into the shape of, I think, an antelope or maybe a cow. And anyway, I don't know the whole mythology behind it. I'm sure Hindu people watching this can fill in the gaps here. Um, but so there we go. I think, and I have to mention as well. So. Kukris are famously used by the Gurkhas, but they're, they're from Nepal. Nepal is north of India, and um, in, in Nepal, they very much like Shiva. Shiva's super popular in Nepal, and um, there's a huge statue of uh, Shiva um, famously in Nepal, and there's, there's all of this stuff to do with Shiva. So it's very, very likely that this symbol here is indeed related to Shiva, it is a symbol of Shiva. I think that's the most likely explanation that we have for why that is on a cookery. Nothing to do with blood, or cutting your finger, or uh, any of those other stupid explanations. It is almost certainly a religious um, symbol. I should also add that a number of cookeries, and this is one example of that, I don't know if it'll focus, just there is a sun symbol and I have a number of Nepalese weapons which have the sun symbol on and the sun symbol is the symbol of Nepal. So if you have a cookery 
which has, or only Nepalese weapon, which has the, a sort of stylized sun, and sometimes they even have a smiley face in the middle of them, which is interesting. The smiley faced sun is something you find in many cultures from across the world from a broad period of time. Uh, it's obviously got a very ancient root. But this actually has two sun symbols, one on each side, and that is very much the sort of national symbol of Nepal. So there we go. I think um, that that almost certainly is related to Shiva, um, and uh, it, nothing to do with blood. Uh, and hopefully the sound equipment worked for you for this video. Cheers, folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, follow us on Facebook. You can buy t-shirts through Spreadshirt, support us on Patreon, or follow us on Pinterest. Thank you.